Okay, um, <coughs> everybody seems to have got through that exercise successfully now. So we'll move on to the next module, which is the FTP um, interface. And basically, the, um, the, the way that this, this works is that you, instead of logging on through the browser and typing information in in a painstaking manner like that, you can create a file that's got all of the relevant information in it, and you can transfer that file to the registry and get it, the registry to process that file. So that diagram is showing, um, on the uh, left-hand side, it's showing your PC. And on the right-hand side, it's showing the registry. And for each participant, like Net1, um, there will be um, a set of directories um, set up for that participant um, at the registry end. So there's a marnet1 um, super directory, and the MAR bit is, comes from Maria, which uh, is kind of a historical um, reason for that. So it's just marnet1 is the um, directory for the participant net1. And there will be, uh, of course, loads and loads of directories, w sets of directories like this, one for each participant. But of course, you can only see um, as net1 when you connect to the registry, you will only be able to see your set of um, directories. Now, um, underneath the MarNet1, there are four subdirectories, four important subdirectories from reg to reg, reject, and processed. Now, the to reg directory, this is where you want to send files, any file that you send to the registry, you want to put it into the to reg directory. Because there is a background process that's constantly monitoring the to reg directories, and it'll pick up files that get you put into those the to reg directories, and it will attempt to process them. If it processes them successfully, they'll wind up in the processed um, directory. If there's something wrong with the file, then they'll end up in the reject directory. Um, now, the from reg directory, um, this is the directory where uh, files are put for you to pick up. So this, this is the registry sending files to you. The registry doesn't email files to you or anything like that. It puts the files into that from reg directory. And it's your responsibility on a regular basis to go and have a look in that from reg directory because there could be important files uh, that you have to attend to there. It's a bit like email. Every day we have to check our inbox because people might have sent us messages of importance. Um, so every day, similarly, you should be checking your um, from reg directory to see whether there's important things for you to do. Now, there's a couple of other directories, apart from those important four directories. Most of the, the processes um, the, certainly all the processes that we're going to do today um, will involve those, those four directories there. And what happens is that you send information to participants, send information to the registry. The registry that will then process those files and it will notify other participants if, that's, if it has to do that. And it notifies those other uh, participants by putting a file into their from reg directory. So as long as the other um, participants are checking their from reg directory on a regular basis, they'll pick up that information. There are two other directories, and those directories are for participants to send information directly to another participant, and it'll I'll be covering those two directories um, right at the end of the course. 
but for the moment we're only going to work with those four directories there. So basically, um, uh, if you want to use this interface, you create files on your local PC, and you can create them any way you like. Um, I'm suggesting we create files here on the temp directory. And then you transfer them across to the registry, stick them in the to reg directory, and uh, then they'll be processed. So that's what those um, directories are for. And um, the program that we're, that we're going to use is a program called FileZilla. Unfortunately, there is a slight problem with the network setup here. It would have been nice if we could all have run um, FileZilla uh, at the same time. But um, we discovered um, up in Auckland, we ran a course in a similar network up in Auckland, and we discovered that only one person was allowed to be running the SFTP uh, program. Uh, which is a, a, bit of a sh bit of a shame. So that one person who's allowed to run the, the FileZilla program for transferring files backwards and forwards uh, is going to be me for the, for the moment. And later on, if we have time, I'll get you to install FileZilla so you can play around with the screens yourself. Okay, so um, this is the FileZilla program, SFTP uh, program and you may not um, you may not realize but this is this is representing exactly uh, that setup there on the left hand side is the user's PC local and on the right hand side is the registry so here um, on the left hand side uh, is my local site, my ctemp directory. And we see on the right-hand side of the screen, um, once we've connected to the registry, we see the, those um, four directories, four important directories. And the way that we connect to the, um, to the registry is by filling in the information along that top row we have to say what the host is. It's a, bit like, um, it's a bit like using a browser. So you have to say what machine you're wanting to connect to. You have to supply it with a username and password. And then you click the, um, the connect button. Now, these are the, um, these are the, um, you, the, host names and uh, usernames and passwords that have to be uh, specified. So we're going to be using the SFTP pro pro uh, protocol rather than the ordinary FTP. And I mentioned the reason before that it's more secure. So um, if you wanted to, uh, to connect to the registry, the real registry, then the host name would be sftp colon forward slash forward slash sftp dot electricity registry dot co dot nz but for this course right because we're connecting to a special copy of the uh, registry it's sft sftp colon forward slash forward slash SFTP and then RDT inserted into that uh, into that host name. Now um, the username is if we're going to be net one, for instance, CNW backslash. So we've got forward slashes and backslashes. It's all very very picky, and you've got to get it exactly right. Um, CNW backslash marnet1 is the username and the password is jeffd90 so um, 
you can set up shortcuts to run this FileZilla program. And you can even, uh, down at the bottom there, you can even um, specify the host name and the, and the username and the password as part of the shortcut. So you don't have to type that information in. We won't bother with that. So I'm going to demonstrate um, running FileZilla. So I've got a shortcut <coughs> here on the screen. OK, so this is running the FileZilla program, and this is the screen that comes up. We have to specify information in the top row and then click the Quick Connect um, button. So sftp colon forward slash forward slash sftp rdt electricity registry dot co dot nz um, username cnw backslash marnet1 and the password jeffd90 and I just click this this quick connect button here and then I should be I'll have my local PC here and I'll see the registry directories over on this side with a bit of luck Okay, so uh, it looks like I have established the connection, and that's really, really good. Um, there's the four directories plus these two extra directories that I'll talk about right, uh, right at the end of the course. These are the ones for sending information directly to the uh, participants. These four directories are the ones for interaction with the registry itself. But if you want to send uh, you know, some holiday snaps to some other, some other participant uh, company, um, then you could, you could do that using these two directories here. An inbox and an outbox, basically. But we'll just be working with these directories here. The from reg, processed, reject, and to reg. So the to reg directory... Um, what basically what we do here is we create some files on our local computer and then drag those files into the to reg directory um, just using the mouse. So um, I'm going to go to my, see if I've got a temp directory here. No, I haven't. Okay, well... Uh, this is my C drive. I'll just make a new directory. Uh, and I'll call it registry files. Okay, so I'll go into registry files on my C drive. And I'm going to make a, um, a file, a new text document. Call it hello.txt. Oh, actually, um, no, I'm not going to use registry files. I'm going to use, we've got a drive specially set up on the PC for us. It's called the Z drive. Yeah, that's right. We've got a, a Z drive here. So I'm going to create um, my files here. And um, Later on in the exercises, you can, uh, you can see this Z drive, so you can create files inside the Z drive as well. And then I'll transfer the files, I'll drag them across um, from local to remote for you. That's the best we can do, unfortunately. 
it would be nice for you all to be able to do this exercise by yourselves, but um, unfortunately the network uh, prevents us from doing that. So, okay, I'm going to make a new uh, text document. And we'll call it, hello. And uh, I'll double click to edit this, this document. And we'll say, Wellington is windy. And I'll save that. Good. OK, so back to FileZilla. And if I go to my Z drive, um, OK, I've clicked on my Z drive, and I can see this file here called hello.txt. And I want that to go across to the two reg directory over here. So how do I get it from there to there across the internet? Just drag it and drop it. So it's arrived there in, um, in the two reg directory, and it's going to be processed. Now, uh, files don't necessarily get processed um, immediately. Um, there's a background process that's looking at these, these files from time to time. So it might not get processed immediately. I well, that's I've just pressed F5, which is, as you probably know, it's the refresh uh, key for browsers and all kinds of other programs. F5 to refresh. And um, if it's been processed successfully, it should end up in processed. As I'll click on processed, and no, it's not there. If it has been rejected for some reason or another, it'll end up in reject here. So I'll click on reject. And press the F5 key to refresh. Um, and I see a file there called hello.200. So this is the hello.txt file, but um, the, extension has, uh, the extension on the file has been changed from whatever it was to 200. And 200 is an error code. So when you're looking at files that have been rejected, you have a look at this, um, this number here, this error code number, and then you've got to figure out what 200 means. Now, the, the um, error codes are available. If I go back to um, the web interface and log on as electric3, Log on as net1, electric3. Um, if you look underneath the help menu, um, you will find um, all the error messages. So underneath help, error messages, here they all are. And what was our one? 200. 200. So we have to scroll down a bit to 200. And two hundred means um, invalid record type. The, f the first line of any file that you send to the registry, there's a, sp a specific format that it's got to have. And if it doesn't match that format, then uh, it's going to be rejected. And so my Wellington is windy line just didn't cut the mustard. Um, it wasn't the, the, the correct, in the correct format. OK, so um, do you all want to do that exercise? Yeah. This, is, this exercise um, <laughs> Exercise 11, um, you won't be able to send the files to the 
the registry, unfortunately. I'll have to do that for you. Um, but if you, create, if you create files inside the Z drive, the Z drive on your, if you have a look at the Z drive, you can all see the Z drive. Um, now, you're going to have to also create files of a different name. We can't have naming conflicts here. So you're going to have to be creative in, the, in terms of the name of the, <coughs> of the file. You can't all have a file named uh, whatever it is. Hello.txt. So if you'd all like to, to do that, create, create files in the... Um, in the Z drive, and then I'll FTP them across to the registry for you. <coughs>